Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kenna and I'm a Cameroonian youth who based in Zuala, Cameroon. Can you guys see this beautiful lady near me today? We are doing a collab and I want her to introduce herself first. Okay, hello everybody. I'm Sylvie. I'm a Cameroonian YouTuber and a PhD student. I live in Japan, but I'm here in Cameroon for holidays. Okay, so she reached out to me and we decided to do a collab. And today we are talking about single versus married. Most of the time, so many ladies complain that a married lady, she say married lady, she's going to complain that, oh my God, my friends have run away from me because I'm married. And then on the other hand, the single friend is like, my friend has run away from me because she's married. So I don't seem to understand. I want to, I want to understand from your own point of view, like, okay, why do you think that always happens? I think it depends a lot on how your relationship was before you both, before you, uh, one of you got married. For example, if we are like best friends, right? And then you get married and our conversations were always about how are you doing? Uh, what are you doing with your life? Like, I have a deep concern for you. Our, the foundation of our friendship was probably us being concerned about each other. Yeah. I think when you get married, it really doesn't change because the only thing is your married friend now has more responsibilities. So as someone who worries about your married friend, you should be like, how are you? Those same questions of how are you doing? How is the family? How are the kids? Of course, those questions now become more but still, that foundation of this is my friend, regardless of that friend being married or not, still stays. So I think it depends a lot on how strong was your friendship? What was your friendship built off on? And if your friendship was also built on, oh my God, these are these two single girls searching to get married, and then one person gets married and one person is not married, then guess what happens? I feel that it now becomes a point where there's a lot of insecurity. Oh my God, my friend is married. I'm not yet married. We both wanted to get married so bad. Now she's gone ahead and got married. I'm not yet married. So those thoughts come in place. Those thoughts bring a lot of insecurity. Those thoughts bring a lot of, sometimes to some extent, jealousy. Yeah. So it depends, what was the foundation of your friendship? And I think that when you eventually get married, then it is a test of, what was your friendship based on? Exactly, because there are so many girls who tell who they don't understand when their friend gets married. I've talked to so many married women and they're always complaining like when I tell my friend that I need time, I can't go out as we used to go out, I can't do certain things that we used to do because right now I'm married, I have children, I have other responsibilities. The friend takes it like Oh my god, now she's proud. She thinks that because she's married, she has achieved everything mm. and I'm not her level anymore, level don't change, so she has gone to a higher level and things like that. But like you said, the foundation of the friendship really matters. Because if you and your friend, if you sincerely care about your friend, it's not really going to be different. You just understand when, you're, when your married friend is like, okay, I don't have time right now because I have this to do or I have that to do. But there are also some instances that I don't blame a married man for dumping her, her single friend because it just depends on the kind of friend that you have and trust me there are some girls that before they get married they know that the life that they were living was a bad life for example if before i got married i was dating married men and snatching people's boyfriends i am dumping that friend like honestly <laughs> i'm not going to keep you around because uh -huh. the next victim i could be your next victim so i won't want to be friends with you and in that case i understand but if it comes to a case where you you know the way your friend is, your friend is a good person and she just wants the best for you, then in that case, I don't see any reason why you should start thinking like, no, I don't want to be around you anymore. Sometimes I've also seen like on uh, on like the day of the wedding where uh, they give the advice, you know, they always give advice and things like that. They're like, anything will happen for the marriage now between you and your master, anything like now cover them. They always say, well, that is the roof that covers everything that happens in your home don't go around and be telling your single friends about your problems because your single friends cannot understand your problems so because of all of those the, the kind of advice that always happens during weddings i always feel like if my best friend is getting married 
and then you sit and then all of these uncles have this zillion advice on how don't share your problems sometimes it's like intimidating also like to a single friend who is like okay so what are my boundaries oh am i am i am i allowed to ask about this am i allowed to ask about this i don't even know what is okay so i feel it's also the responsibility of the married friend who has a single friend to be like okay these are the limits we can talk about this we can talk about this creating boundaries makes it clear yeah. such that you can know what you're comfortable talking about what she is comfortable asking you about and then you keep it within those limits and i've also seen situations where it was the husband yeah like the friend's husband who is like now that we are married i don't want to see those your single friends i don't want to see the, your classmates that you people that you were hanging out with before yeah, husbands ask their, their, their wives to detach themselves from the company that they were keeping before but so, in that case, I just think it's the wife, it's your position to tell your husband that these are people that I knew before you. Mm -hmm. Especially if they are friends that uplift you. You tell him, these are people I knew before you and they have to be in my life. It's not like they are just there for decoration. Like they have a very important part to play in my life. So I'm not going to let you tell me mm -hmm. to just get rid of them like that. And then there are certain cases that I've also seen that when, like what you said, with all the advice that... Um, married women are getting their single friends feel out of place mm -hmm. out of place i've seen cases where a married woman is reaching out to her friend the friend gives her extra extra space and then they just lose their friendship because the friend is pushing away and you're like no i want to see you now the friend is like no you're married i don't want to come close to you because your husband might not be comfortable i can't come and visit you as i want to because your husband might do this mm -hmm. and do that so i think it's the place of the married woman to make that environment comfortable enough to be like, this is allowed, this is not allowed. I don't mind us, uh, mind you coming. We can talk about this. We can talk, we cannot talk about this. So I think it's the as as the person who got married, you have you. It's both ways. It's yeah. both ways, okay. but to the extent of because. At that moment, who is the person that has more responsibilities? It's you, the married woman. Yeah. Who now has, you have a family, so you have new interests. You are probably going to make new married friends. Mm -hmm. You are probably going, you have a family to run. You have your in-laws in to take care of. It's not, in Africa here, you don't, it's not like a nuclear mm -hmm. family. You have like the entire, so your single friend kind of is looking at you far away like, she has a lot of responsibilities. Yeah. So now I think it's your place to be like, no, I have a lot of responsibilities, but listen, I can use your help for this. I, I don't want us to lose this particular bond that we had yeah. just because of the several things that are coming up now. So I think the married woman can create a safe space for the single person to feel comfortable to what level. Okay, and also, I think that the single friend should also learn how to understand the single friend should learn to understand certain things. Because if a single friend will come to your house and you're trying to explain like, please don't do this, my husband doesn't like this, and she's like, small kennel of yesterday, was I not coming to your house and going into no, all the No, small kennel of yesterday is married kennel today. Those are that's just the little things that sometimes yeah. cause um, confusion, cause yeah. problems because yeah. your single friend, she doesn't seem to understand like yeah. she, most girls sometimes they just expect that since you're friends you should remain the same but I think that the single friend should also understand that life has changed things has things have changed so she also has to change the way she relates to you it's true that your friendship still remains and your relationship still remains but I just think like you said both of them should adjust so guys yeah that is what I have for you today let us know what you think about this topic in the comment section. I hope that this video has helped somebody because this is an unending topic. People are always like, this one has dumped me, this one has run away and all that. So I hope that this helps you out in any way. And before we go, um, Sylvie here is going to give you her channel name and her social media handles. All right, I have two YouTube channels. My one channel, I talk about scholarships. It's called Beauty with Brains. And then the second channel is uh, Yours Truly, CV, C as in cat, V as in van. And, and you can follow sex. me. Yes, sex education related. Everything exactly. sex. Exactly. You can go check it out. And then my Instagram is Yours Truly underscore CV. You can find me on Twitter, Yours Truly underscore CV. Facebook, Yours Truly CV. Everywhere, Yours Truly. 
you can follow me there and then we are going to relate and we're going to chat more thank you okay i'll put all her details in the description box thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys next time and wait before you go please subscribe click on that subscribe button subscribe subscribe, subscribe.